Hello and welcome to Hattrex GT7 Weekly Race Guide. Now, as you can see in the background here, we've got all the GT7 adverts and all the kind of news about the motor industry and all the kind of big news items of the time to keep us interested. And it's all great when you think how many cars that GT7 has given us is something like four over 400, I think it is, that you can have if you do the if you complete the whole game, and they are fantastic cars. I mean, let's just take a look at some of them, for example. If I go into my garage here, you'll be able to see just some of the cars that we've got available. And of course, GT7 has a myriad of different um, uh, tracks and combinations. If we look at some of the cars we've got here, from the, the Valkyrie, the F50, even the Renault 4, the Porsche 911 GT3 RS, um, the Porsche Carrera GTS from 1964. There's a wonderful range of cars and combinations to choose from. So what do you think Polyphony has given us this week for the races? Well, let's find out. So here we have this week's combinations. For race A, it's Blue Moon Bay Speedway. Blue Moon Bay Speedway, quite a place. The infield A, which is actually sometimes quite a reasonable circuit, but they've decided to do it in reverse. So it's a much tougher, um, kind of tricky circuit. I don't think it's as good in reverse as it is uh, normal clockwise, the way they would normally do it. Um, and they've got the new Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 9 that they launched a few weeks ago that we did a time trial in. And that's all very well. But what Polyphony have managed to do is make this car virtually undrivable. The understeer is something else when you're going around a corner. And then it has lift off oversteer and the energy just goes from all the back of the car to the front. And before you know it, it's snapping like something else. So you can only really brake in a straight line. And all the real kind of handling characteristics of the car in real life, I think, have been completely ignored. And I'm thinking this is a complete waste of time. I did actually have a race there this morning and it was going quite well. But I was caught out with this legendary oversteer moment um, and that ruined my race. But then we have race B, which is at Monza and it's in group three. Yes, you are seeing that right. It is exactly the same as what we did last week. The only difference being is that it's a race B, so there's fewer laps. There's only, uh, I think it's five laps on this race, and you can do settings. So you can do um, your differential um, and other bits and pieces, your brake balance um, and all the other uh, like damping and stuff like that, which is fine. But as Polyphony completely ran out of ideas for combinations? I mean, yes, we might not be paying them a monthly subscription, but this is the worst I've ever seen. And I, I got so annoyed this morning because normally I do my kite much earlier. And I thought, this is ridiculous. You're just doing the same thing over again, except now you've got settings to choose from. But it's still not brilliant. I mean, last week's race was, was, was quite fun. It was all right. It was quite popular. But I wouldn't say it was the best thing they've ever done. So really disappointing. I mean, all I can think is that maybe it's been a glitch and it's been a problem with the other combination that they've done and they've decided to put this in at the last minute because I really can't see why they would have the same race, you know, two weeks in a row when it, especially the race B, um, it's, you know, there's so many other things they could do. Come on, Polyphony, we, we deserve better than this. Then we have group four at Autopolis for race C. Now, you can come in and change tyres, um, a, a pit stop is uh, required and also there's a bit more fuel use um, and it's on the racing medium tyres, so it is a bit more detailed and again, that's proving quite popular, but I'm sure we had Group 4 at Autopolis not that long ago, maybe even just two or three months ago, so again, with all the combinations and possibilities available to us, why on earth would Polyphony give us this? Um, I'm not going to go into more, more of the details really of the races because I think there, we've seen them all before. Um, you really had everything within the last few weeks and months. Um, I really hope they start putting in some better races than this. I don't know what you think. Please let me know what you think in the comments. Um, but I'm fed up. I'm very much fed up with what GT7 is doing at the moment. Um, I'm not impressed. Uh, I'm not at the point where I think it's time to get your money back because you can't really do that now. But I think... There's so much more that Polyphony could do, and we're not really getting a very good experience. Other other races, other other games like ACC and even a set of Corsa, which is over ten years old, I think is actually giving you far more fun. And F1 2023, um, although it has its errors, 
and it's still a bit more involving. So, yeah, this week's GT7 Weekly Race Guide is a big thumbs down, <laughs> I'm sure, and I hope you enjoy it. I hope um, many of you will be playing it anyway, so this is by no means um, an influence to try and put you off. But I just think, come on, Polyphony, we, we, we can do so much better than this. You've got so many great cars, rally combinations, rally tracks, race tracks, and, and this is what we've got. We need to do a lot better than this. But take care, everyone. Have a wonderful week if you are playing GT7 or any other game that you're playing. But uh, you can see and you can hear my voice of frustration that I was looking forward to a, a great week of races, but I'm just not interested in doing this week's races at all. So for someone who's a big GT7 fan, it's really disappointing. But I will see you on Thursday. We will do the time trial on Thursday and hopefully stream after that. Uh, but take care and have a wonderful week. Drive your bus fast or drive your drive fast but drive your bus even faster. And I think this week, a bus will be more enjoyable to drive. Bye just now.